This is a short how-to on manual digitization from a raster and so we're going to be looking at how we go from a, a photo like this to a set of uh, vector polygons um, like the ones here on the right. Uh, it's not difficult to do. Uh, reward You will be rewarded for accuracy and taking your time with uh, interpreting the imagery. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward process. So here we are in ArcGIS. Um, we've opened up a untitled map document here, and I've just imported the air photo for from uh, Blackboard. You're welcome to uh, go to the QT Library website, download a higher resolution image for your area, your grid uh, within the gardens, uh, you can get uh, double the resolution of, of this one that I'm using here today doing that. Um, and so now I can see my raster here for a section of the, of the gardens and I can interpret from this a number of different elements. For example, a tree canopy here, that's probably shadow down there on the on the ground, footpaths, and a garden. So we would like to convert these raster objects, which are cells. Here we can see individual pixels, grids, into a useful set of vector um, elements. And in this case, because the pathway runs underneath tree canopies and some of the garden beds are occluded by tree canopies, we can't use an automated process to identify all of the paths or all of the garden beds. And this is where the value for you as a GIS analyst comes in, in digitizing creating data. For this project process you're going to require the editor toolbar, so simply right clicking at the top here and selecting editor toolbar is the first step. The next thing you're going to need is a place to store your data. So we're going to create a shapefile in order to use to, to store our, uh, our vector information. To do that is also simple. We use our catalog, which you can find either here or once you've opened it on your sidebar here. And we can create a new shape file by right clicking on a folder where we would like to store it. In this case I'm going to call this cover and we're going to be creating polygons because we're interested in the properties of area and perimeter. We want to know the boundaries and how much cover there is in grass, garden beds and paths and tree canopies for example. Okay, and we will be working as always with our GDA 94 zone 56 coordinate system. Make sure your coordinate systems match between your image and your files so that when you're creating things, creating vector objects from your raster, everything is certain to line up. Okay, so we can go ahead now and begin creating vector data in the file that we have just created called cover here in my case. And we can do that by selecting editor and selecting start edit. Now in this case it has an edit tool. It comes up automatically and you can select, move and adjust features using, using this uh, tool here. However, you haven't created any features to edit yet, so we're going to create features and you can get to that by more editing tools, editing windows, creating features. Okay. In this case once you've clicked on that it will come up to the side. Now when you select your polygon layer you'll notice that we get a nice crosshair. Now this crosshair locates the position of the point that you will create or vertex you will create as an edge of your polygon. And so here we have a polygon that we are creating and you can see it being created as I add vertices 
to the feature. Double click, left clicks, finishes the feature and we have just created our first polygon. If we open our attribute table over here we'll now see that we have a polygon in our, in our shape file. And we can go on and do that again for another feature. And another feature. And we've just now created canopy polygons for three tree canopies. We'll add a fourth because it is actually quick and simple. And simply by clicking on editor and clicking save edits and then editor stop editing we have now created four polygons in here for our tree canopies. You will notice that we currently don't have any attributes in our table here. We have four polygons, each with a feature ID, but no attributes for these features. So at the moment we just have a set of points connected by a line and closing an area in space. So now we would like to, in the same way that we've collected our GeoApp data, add attributes to these, these uh, features. And to do that is as simple as using our attribute table to add a field. Now in this case, just as we have in the GeoApp, we need to tell ArcGIS what the geometry of our features are and what the, what the field will be uh, so that the database knows how to handle it. In this case we're going to call this cover and it will be a text field because we're going to use the broad categories of uh, grass, path, garden, tree to describe the objects that we're creating. And in here it's got our length for that field. We can change that length to a longer length if we needed. And when we click OK, it now adds that attribute field to our to our shape file. So now we're linking through our DBF file, we're now linking attributes to our feature IDs here. And in this case, we can start editing again and we can write in here tree. Now, once you get efficient with this, you can copy and paste to get these higher level uh, features quickly labeled in a common format. Once you've finished labeling the field, you can simply say save edits. And there we have polygon digitization from a raster.